I have never been so excited about a project than I've been lately with calisthenics. I've seen great progress over the past two, three weeks. Um, my handstands are getting better and better. My push-ups um, again stronger. I can do way more just by doing my daily 100 now. Like I just try to like different variations. But that one thing that I'm not good at is pull-ups and front lever, I haven't even tried a back lever. The front lever in itself is an incredible exercise. It's so, it's a beast in itself. It's so hard to do that I cannot do it without any assistance. I still need two resistance bands to keep myself up in the position where I have to be. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to attack this problem of me not being able to do a front lever. So after my warm up, I immediately start with the hardest exercise, the front lever in itself. But obviously I use resistance bands. My goal here is to hold the exercise for as long as possible. And currently I'm around 12 to 15 seconds where I really feel that I'm actively holding myself up. And after 15 seconds, I just, you know, feel that the resistance band is doing more than I'm doing. And that's when I stop. So another exercise that I do because I cannot hold my legs straight up in front of me without any uh, resistance bands. I just tuck my knees in and hold this position for as long as possible. The closer you bring your knees towards your chest, the easier the exercise gets. The further the knees go away from your chest, the harder the exercise gets. So that way I can adjust the intensity of the exercise. Those are my two main exercises that I really focus on to get closer to the front lever as soon as possible. I know there are a lot of different ways and approaches to you know strengthen your body first and then get into the position, but I truly believe that it's better for me to just be in that position because then I will activate all the muscles that I don't even think about that I need to hold the position. So after a couple of sets, obviously I get tired and I can't hold it for 10 to 15 seconds anymore. That's when I switch over to another exercise. One exercise that I truly love is just standing lat pull downs. I love adding those exercises because these just help me pump out the rest of my energy and then I can really feel my muscles getting worked to the limit. At the same time, I'm working on my grip strength and yeah, it's just like an, an addition to the entire workout. After that, I do some assisted pull-ups because I wanna make sure that my body knows that my main goal is to do more pull-ups and just you know be able to hold myself up on a bar for as long as possible. For the assisted pull-ups, I just go for as many as possible. Sometimes it's seven, eight, sometimes it's 15, and sometimes, like the other day, I was so proud of myself, I did like 25 assist assisted pull-ups. Um, after the, the workout. So it really depends on how I feel on that specific day, but I never go till failure because I wanna make sure that I'm not super sore and I can jump right back in the next day. And last but not least, I have a fun exercise that I really like. It's uh, with a cross core 180. I just, you know, strap it around the, the bar and then I do single arm pull-ups with my own body weight. I simply added this exercise because I wanted to have some fun during the workout and this one for some reason it's just a lot of fun i feel like a kid playing again and again same thing as do as many reps as possible and then i probably go for like three to four sets depending on how i feel so this is what my workout looks like when i really want to focus on the front lever i try to do it every day only if i feel like i need a day off then i just focus on my handstand again do more push-ups focus on my abs and uh throw in some cardio just to you know get a little bit more shredded so I have to admit, the front lever for now is probably the biggest challenge that I'm facing with calisthenics because it's like there's no finish line in sight. Like I don't know when there's like a big change where I feel like, oh yeah, I can hold myself up there without any assistance or if it's like a small, like, you know, 1% gain every single day and then one day you're like oh i can hold it without that but right now i really need both resistance bands to keep myself up there and 15 seconds is like currently my max like it's it's really hard to hold myself up there for longer but i hope with consistency i will get there eventually uh, my goal is to be without any resistance bands within two months I'm not sure if that's too ambitious or if that's even possible. I always need to set a goal because otherwise it's just like, it's just dangling around and, and it will never happen. So for me right now, I wanna make sure I can do a front lever within the next two months. And I'm not saying a perfect front lever. I just wanna be able to hold myself up there in the position, let's just say for three to five seconds max that's it for today's video guys um if you enjoyed this video please do me a favor comment like and subscribe you know it's for the algorithm uh helps me out a lot 
Thank you so much. I'll see you on Monday for Money Monday.